fast in your car or something over ruts in a field, like a flat area that was supposed to be for row cropping. And you're just constantly bouncing around. So if you saw my previous video, you saw uh, this week had been so stressful and just anything detrimental that could happen, it happened. So yesterday, after I ended the video, um, another thing happened that was outbreaking like I am right now. And um, my hydraulic hose decided to explode. Which, if you don't know how this cute little Kubota rake works, it is basically the entire thing works off of hydraulics. So, um, there's a hydraulic hose that runs from my tractor all the way to the middle of the rake, which is that little area that makes everything spin. I forget what it's called exactly, but it makes it spin. And it's pumping hydraulic fluid into that so I can lift, it, lift the rake up and down um, to be able to rake and go with the topography of the land because my rake doesn't naturally go with the topography of the land just like my cutter and my baler do. I have to manually lift it up and down. So I, I keep turning around this because I'm checking to make sure that I'm not hitting each other wind rows. Um, so this entire rake runs off of hydraulics. So I was, I guess, um, when I was turning, I turned a little too sharp and my hydraulic hose hit the PTO, which if you don't know what a PTO is, it's a power takeoff. It is what connects the tractor and the brake and um, it helps spin, it makes it spin. And it spins at RPM, which is revolutions per minute. And that is what makes things run and go also with hydraulics as well. So um, it hit the PTO, which is spinning at uh, 540 RPM, which is revolutions per minute. So 540 spins per minute, um, or rotations per minute for people who have a difficulty understanding. And um, it hit that, and then it exploded. <laughs> hydraulic fluid spraying all over the back of my tractor and anywhere else the hydraulic fluid could be sprayed and I was like you're kidding so I immediately turned off my PTO and shut off um, and bring the rake down so hydraulic fluid isn't like exploding everywhere I turned off the hydraulics but I didn't touch the hydraulics anymore I turned off the PTO I called my dad and I was like hey Got it all folded up, ready for travel. The noise, by the way, is the siren for tornadoes. It's really loud. Hey guys, so I had like a dumb blonde moment or whatever you wanna call it, and for some reason, when I was unhooking
taking the rake, I didn't put the well, hitch bag on it or whatever you want to call it. I forget what it's called. Not important right now. Anywho, I forgot to put my back on. So this is what I did to fix that situation. I took the bucket, lifted it up, and I'm going to put that right there where it's supposed to go. And yeah, things happen. It's okay. You just gotta think of a way to solve the problem with what you have. happens when your baler doesn't work properly or not properly but I do have a really big announcement for you guys um, we are getting a new baler October 10th I think right yes, yes. October 10th Brand new. They still, still it up. turning this one in getting money for that and then getting a brand new one that actually works correctly preface actually works this is what happens by the way when your knotter doesn't work and you get an infinite bail and you have to pull everything out of it so dad is about to run through again and then it'll shoot out two bad bales i gotta clean that out and then it should run up and work correctly again but yeah that's the announcement also forgot to say that but here we go i'm now sitting in the truck because my dad and I were cleaning out the baler because the knotter stopped working again and he stepped on my foot and bit my whole toenail back and it started bleeding. That's hay, that's disgusting. Anywho, it started bleeding everywhere and it hurts really bad. So I'm just sitting for a second while he bails right there. And then I'm gonna go back out. I'm waiting till he comes closer so I don't have to walk so far because I'm being lazy. Times. Hi guys, I'm in the cab now of oh, the case and we're bailing. Sorry, that's a really awkward name. I wrapped my toe up, so that's the good thing. And we're getting it done. We're getting the stuff that we missed over there and then wrapping it up and going to the next. about to head to the next field. Um, I need to unhook the accumulator, hook it up to my truck, and then drive it to the next field. There's so much. Ugh. Drive it to the next field, and then go from there. So yeah. Hopefully the rest of these acres go by quick. I think I have six acres left in that one field and then four acres of, so 10 acres total of square left and then the rest is round bale, which is 20 acres of round bale. So yeah, good times. Driving the accumulator to the field. Okay guys, I'm dropping dad off at the field because I got to go run some errands, but um, hopefully he'll be okay by himself, fingers crossed. If not, he does know how to handle it by himself obviously, but it is definitely easier to do things with help, so yeah. We shall see. I'm back from the errands. I got my nails done super fast. I don't feel bad about it because take time for yourself, ladies. Anyways, happened again. It happens one more time, we're quitting. And we're just gonna round bail it because we have 25 acres left to do. 
Hi guys, I look crazy because I was standing behind the accumulator. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we just finished bailing square bales today. Tomorrow's round bailing. Except I have festivals, so dad's just gonna be by himself. But luckily we have no issues because our round baler is brand new. So we're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna go hook up the accumulator to the truck and then we're gonna go home and get dinner. It is seven o'clock and I'm starving and I have to get ready for the festival. So yeah. Thanks for watching and you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to check out the links in my bio. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Sorry, I'm just rushed right now. Anyways, bye!